Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. Back with new video, guys. If you are first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below, guys. And also, follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, good luck. And I have a small request, guys. Soon, I am getting 30 years old in February 11, 2024. I am requesting you to make more and more subscribers to this channel. Tell your friends, family members and relatives to make this channel subscribe and without wasting any time let's start this video. Starting with this settings, if I go into the settings, as you can see there is a lag in the UI I already explained in the community section. Go and check out guys. People keep on complaining why you are not making this review for poco x3 i already checked twice this particular room this is third time i'm checking it out currently it's fine uh, i can make the video up at least for this particular room but previous builds were too much laggy i don't think so someone will use a laggy ui in a daily driver hence i made this one anyhow still it's not perfect guys still there is a lag in the ui we will definitely notice that now going to my device here you can see Hypervoice by version 816.0.23.18 developer beta POCO X3 NFC 6 plus 2 GB of RAM I will increase that lag 5160 image but it is an Indian variant guys my device here it is showing specifications of this particular port info yeah here you guys can see Hypervoice version and Android version is 14 yeah you will get that Android 14 is track baseband version kernel user is 4.1 4.3 3.4 Neko kernel has been used, hardware version is V6 M6 version 6 and device activation and other things you can see here. Here it's fine in the into the app drawer and fine. If I swipe like this, it's also fine. But sometimes you will feel that lag. It takes a little bit of time to settle down, but anyhow, it's not completely as smooth as we expecting something under 14 based ROM and this is a hyper OS new version, but still it's not totally compatible with Poco X3 as of now. And gallery here you guys can see if I go into here into the options you get you can create the PDF and you can copy some of the things and recognize text feature is also there as you can see it will recognize actually and recognize table is also given productive watermark is also given as you can see text has been recognized here if I have any table uh, let's see here yeah again select here recognize table agree allow only ones yeah now it will take it like this scan table if you press here yeah couldn't recognize table if it was table you can do that that's really cool in my opinion productive watermark if you want to protect the photo you can keep it whatever you want customize them and rename also you can do details however you can see these things uh, this is the new change i have seen here and in this particular room, you also get this charging rapidly support is given. 33 watt fast charging support is given. And single score is 746 and multi score is 1784. Again, kernel is Linux 4.14.334. Neko kernel has been used. And this is 100 test guys CPU throttling test results. You can see here the maximum is around 198 and average is 194 and minimum is 184. And it's for 15 minutes and it's nothing has been throttled you can see on the screen no cpu thermal throttling detected isn't it good yes it's good but here and there a lag in the way is noticed but throttling is different and lag is different guys if you understand this i think it will be better for you and these are the results i got and i can say it's a good rom as of now also you get this kind of folders here as you can see the animations are also cool here once again yeah again this one weather application is little bit revamped here the, you can see now lag if you can notice the first time you will see the lag and this how the weather report you can see here it's a little bit revamped here if and even press and hold here into wallpapers this wallpapers will not get downloaded for any reason as you can see and you get these wallpapers and this floral arrangement again as you can see little bit lag yeah this one gradient and other may 14 wallpapers are also pre-installed here that i really like it and even widgets let's check about them yeah widgets as you can see 
these things are Chinese based. Once we get a official ROM, we don't going to get, I mean, we are not going to get these particular options here, but anyhow, we are under oh, custom ROMs. We can speak about this. You can see here, this is the camera application. You get 4K support is there in the video section in ultra wide also, as you can see. Proper MIUI camera is given here. Everything is working for no problem regarding whatever, but here it shows 200 megapixel, but it's only for 64 megapixel actually. But anyhow, here and there some noticeable uh, miss, miss uh, whatever say the numbers, misleading numbers. That's present because it's a ported ROM. And dialer again, you get a proper dialer here. You get a kind of dialer. And you can make direct video call also. Let's make this and you'll definitely get this call recording feature. And see the interface, it has been changed very much in the hyperverse you can't see this much of interface change in any MIUI updates into the dialer i'm saying again it's quite handy here that particular and biggest change is the quick settings panel it's almost identical to iphone ios kind of style as you can see you get edit section here i think so yeah it's settings you can see some lag here and these are the recent apps and edit section is here underneath the display as you can see these are the other options you get once you want you can add them i'll disable the dark mode here me smart up if you use any smart home applications like me home or google home you can utilize them and we'll be showing some of the results also drm information again as you can see the app opening time is too much here definitely is taking too much of time I think we should clear this app and this app let's see now will it open no it was the issue with the app maybe anyhow i'll see this one security application as you can see nothing new here gaming mode and other things remain same once we play bgma i'll be going to show that and this is the safety net status results you guys can see both get failed you should manually pass that using magix models but i don't recommend this as a deleter as i said before too and you also get this recorder nothing revamped here as you can see it remains same we remote the model system is a little bit different here to look at least visually they have changed but overall it remains same in some of the cases but other things like what i said before and this status bar notifications i want to show this is the major change if i can change here no yeah we'll, if i can change mute as you can see silent mode is on you'll get these kind of cool notifications here again if i turn the general mode silent mode is off these are the things has been implemented in this particular uh, update of hyper os that i really like it and file manager remains same here nothing fancy or anything like that as you can see you can sync with meter but anyhow these are the things are now moving into actual settings now yeah there's the settings as you can see there is a little bit of lag in this starting with this interconnectivity as you can see these are going to be useful once you have similar uh, company devices or macbook for example this is xiaomi notebook ultra and this is poco device and if i have any me smart home gadgets then i can connect here using this even me tv also connection will be fine here. this is the interconnectivity let's say once it launched in India, the hyperverse, what changes we can expect here. More connectivity options again, VPN, DNS server, Chromebook, other things you can do it from here to wallpapers and personalization. As I said before, you also get this always on display here. Yeah, these things are a little bit Chinese here. Yeah, but anyhow, you can make it out as you can see. Even if you want to download them, you can revert back to theme section. Also, you can keep the custom image and also you get display items here once you've turned it on yeah always you can keep that let me show this one yeah apply let's see yeah it's how it look and also these are the lock screen customization once i touched here let's go here as you can see i had made a dedicated video of shots here as you can see these are the classic type of images and these are the rhombus and some of the magazine kind of things as you can see if you swipe downside you get number of 
things here if i select this one again you can customize pinch to crop is there again wallpaper you can add edit it add your own and i mean matte effect you want that yes you can do that and if you want to blur some of the things like light blur this one is fine i think so matte effect no just keep it like this depth yeah now apply let's see yeah this is how the uh, wallpaper I and mean, lock skin wallpaper looks like these are the customizations available and this is always on display regarding thing i don't recommend to use this case this is an lcd display don't just use the always on display but if you want you can do that icons again these things you can change here style again nothing here once you install certain applications then you can do that fonts again you get these kind of things no more again it will revert back to theme section you can adjust some of the things here and effects also you can do that once you get notification in here we are having that led notification but in this particular room it's not working and lock screen again as i said customizations are there here charging animation again you select that side panel shortcuts also you can select from here nothing new here and notification status bar again it remains same everything battery indicator again uh, height notch notch and individual maps and these things lock screen you can customize your status bar icons also you can edit here control center style again you can customize the older version if you want but i recommend to go with new version and smart device controls as i said before this is the settings you get into the home screen again you get this search bar if you want you can do that and again classic web draw light mode and again suggestion group by icon color animation and color categories you can enable or disable some of the things system navigation again gestures and buttons are given here arrange items and recent vertical horizontal show memory status and blur app previous is also given here nothing fancy here animation speed again you can adjust here again fingerprint face unlock and screen unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see it's quite fast to unlock your smartphone using fingerprint unlock now let's check the face unlock as you can see it's also working really really fast as you can see just look at the device one screen is wake up that gets unlocked your smartphone those things are working fine in my opinion now coming into some of the uh, battery related thing the battery charging speeds are good as i said before 33 volt charging fast support is given here but uh, charging capacity even the battery life is not that great what i've seen in the previous one day of usage you can select among these modes but i recommend to keep it in balance once you play the games use the performance mode and if you're in tight i mean less juice here in the status but then you can use battery saver but don't use ultra battery saver and keep it like that only change according to your usage that you need to keep in mind me ai again this is use i mean reason specific settings and additional settings uh like these all the things we get memory extension up to 6 gb is given for 6 gb and accessibility settings again these things remains very similar to what we have seen in the past miui versus let's see how it handle the bgma gameplay and what are the graphic settings we get and you guys can see here the graphic settings is set to smooth plus ultra only nothing kind of 60 fps or anything enabled here even though it's a ported one you just get this kind of settings here let's say how it handles uh, at least in 40 fps and here comes the game turbo mode you guys can see nothing change here to what i can observe balance and performance mode let's activate that and even you can increase this thing yeah, performance has been increased now and clear memory other things again you can enhance this bright and saturated i will keep it and this is how the quick settings panel looks like into this hyper voice and wait for my conclusion guys after a long theory i got a kill it's not that smooth definitely in 40 fps what can you expect more someone is sleeping here yeah the gameplay is also a little bit choppy even in 40 fps it's not playable at least 
definitely you will notice that how much choppy the game is and volume panel you always can see volume panel as you can see this is how the volume panel you get it is too difficult to play but i can still able to get kills let me also get likes to this video i think so your people can do that and yeah, I'll saw the gaming review and everything in this particular uh, HyperOS build guys. It's fine and memory management is also fine. You guys can see. But what I notice is it's not too much uh, completely cooked ROM. I can say you can wait for some more builds of this HyperOS and device is little bit warm but it's not that much hot or anything like that. And I recommend to use it as a deleter. Is it? Did I? recommend this particular one no but for some users who want to taste that hyper OS kind of experience then you can definitely try this rom and if you're not that kind of person who use this smartphone for payments and all then also you can try this out but if you're using as a dilator i definitely don't recommend this as a dilator as of now but in future i might recommend for similar kind of videos subscribe to my channel we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now